Huawei's next mission is to make the phone of your dreams. What's up guys? So it's no surprise that next year we'll definitely see the making of the underscreen camera tech for the first time. Phones with no notch, no holes, the evolution is almost here. And there are many companies out there working on this, but Huawei is going one step ahead. So the Mate 30 Pro brought the waterfall screen design. The P40 Pro expanded that into something called Horizon Display. This display curves not only in the side Sides, but on the top and bottom as well. While it does have one of the biggest punch holes I've ever seen in my life, it might be one of the last time that Huawei does this. Out comes the latest patent from Huawei via Let's Go Digital. This is Huawei's future phone with the underscreen camera. We've got a all curved design with no interruptions. It's got that boxy mate kind of look so you can tell that it's a future mate phone, which is ironic because Huawei is gearing up to release the Mate 40 Pro towards the end of the year, which means they have plenty of time to actually pull this off. Now, what's interesting is that the screen is completely wrapping towards the side of the phone, which kind of reminds me about that Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha that had a really futuristic look. Huawei has filed some previous underscreen camera patterns as well, but this one is the best in my opinion as far as the visuals are concerned. Let me know what you think about this design and considering the phone looks so much like a made phone, this could actually happen on the Mate 40 Pro. In fact, there's a rumor going on about a Mate S phone that could be like a special edition of the Mate 40 Pro that might have this tech. There's even an alleged image leak reported on Huawei Central that has no punch hole whatsoever. One thing is sure, Huawei is doing this and it's gonna happen really soon. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Also, the zoom obsession is the next thing along with the megapixels. We have phones rumored to have 150 megapixel sensors the future and now zoom levels will go crazy as well. According to the leakster on Twitter, Xiaomi wants 120x zoom whereas Huawei has plans for a 150x zoom. This is indeed a crazy limit. Not long ago there was this super early leak of a back design that shows a two periscope lens on a Huawei flagship phone. I gotta say this looks absolutely crazy. Huawei is also rumored to add zoom controls on the back camera ring which again points to a massive zoom upgrade they might have something like this in plan it's all cool but the last thing we need right now is a marketing gimmick hopefully huawei can do better because they're not known for bad zoom if they put the right hardware to pull this off then why not in addition to the zoom huawei could also add a new wide angle lens there's a rumored free form ultra wide angle lens that huawei is working on it's going to be the biggest ultra wide angle sensor on a smartphone with 40 mp resolution one of the problems we have seen with the previous huawei Huawei ultra wide angle lens is that they're not as wide as what you see on Samsung and Apple. So this new freeform lens fixes that issue. Also, the air is clear regarding the Harmony OS. Uh, we talked about it before in the past. Now, in an interview, the CEO of Huawei said that Harmony OS needs like 300 years to compete with Android and iOS, pretty much saying that they're not actually planning to compete with these two giant OS, at least for now. They still use the open version of Android, which they're going to use in the future as well and uh, they're working on building their own core HMS services. They made a great progress so while they're not competing with Android and iOS they're definitely competing with the Google Play Store at the moment. Now despite the ban Huawei has released a new phone with Google services and well it's actually a old flagship the P30 Pro but with a brand new color and a new price. So yeah things are looking exciting. Currently Huawei has a big problem regarding the chips. The current US restrictions don't allow them to work with DSMC so Samsung could help them out. I definitely think that Huawei will be able to counter this somehow. The Mate 40 Pro is the next big thing in the smartphone game. Like it or not they still push forward. They innovate like Samsung with foldable phones and now they may be the one to bring the dream design first to the table. Let's see what's gonna happen. As always drop your comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.